Hello, everyone, and welcome to Off the Shelf, a show where we take things off the shelf and talk about them because everything has a story. If you're new to the channel, welcome. My name is Rick. Hit that like and subscribe button. Also, hit that notification bell. We would really appreciate it. Also, check out our merch store. All the links are down below. Joining me on the shelf, as always, is a man who loves a good role play, Captain Joe Dav. How are you, Joe? I'm well. I'm well. You know, role play is the gateway to fundum, so it's important to get into things. So I love that stuff. <laughs> and joining us for the first time on the show, and we are very excited to have her on the show, the queen of cosplay herself, Amber Moses. Welcome. How are you, Amber? Hi, I'm good. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. You are very welcome. We are excited about this one, aren't we, Joe? Absolutely. Yeah. I was blown away when I saw Amber on a live because she was actually creating her cosplay and shared it with us. I was like, oh, this is cool. Did you do others? And then she was getting into it. And I said, I come on, please come on our show. And luckily no. she was nice enough to do so. And here she is. All right, Joe, let's get into it, mate. All right. <laughs> So you briefly just touched on it there, Joe. But mm -hmm. uh, Amber, what what do you do? <laughs> what um, is it? I do a whole number of things. But yeah. um, as far as cosplays go, uh, I've done that on and off for like probably since I was about eighteen. My first cosplay was actually um, France from Hitalia. Oh wow! Oh. And. Um, but then I, I like really got into like Beetlejuice and uh, I've done a Rick Sanchez cosplay. Um, oh, Rick then, Sanchez. Yeah, that was fun. Pickle, <laughs> Rick. <laughs> well, love, dub, dub. <laughs> love, dub, dub. <laughs> I love it. Love it. Yeah. But um, the, uh, the Willy Wonka cosplay Someone on TikTok was like, you look like you could be Gene Wilder's daughter. And I'm like, eh, no. And then I looked at a few pictures and I'm like, oh, oh, they're not <laughs> wrong, though. So that kind of <laughs> led into that. <laughs> so for that um, shoot, uh, it was me and my partner who um, he <laughs> he bought me a camera for my birthday. And I'm like, here, take pictures of me with it. <laughs> so, basically how that's gone and he's like apparently a really great photographer but um wow so we did that shoot for this uh misfit magazine for their i want candy theme yep. mm. and that was at um it's called fort weatherall and it's uh it's in rhode island um yep and i don't i don't know i wanted like kind of dystopian wonka and it, and it seemed to work <laughs> Wow, that is so cool. That, yeah, that, that makes a lot of sense, dystopian. Because now I was like, I was wondering, and it was going to be my question is why is it like in such a terrible background? It's such an awesome cosplay. And now it makes a lot of sense. I, I, I've got this theory that Willy Wonk is a cryptid. Oh, <laughs> <So>. <laughs> Let me share your theory. <laughs> yeah, I'd let, yeah, let's hear that. That sounds awesome. Well, like, so his little assistant. Yeah. manages to get all over the world in the 70s when that like travel is so much harder and everything when they are announcing each ticket and he manages to bump into charlie right after he gets the ticket before it's announced mm. that seems a little bit magical to me and then yeah. all of the nonsense that goes on in the chocolate factory like that's not all human it can't be all human <laughs> You know what? Now I'm going to have to rewatch that because this makes a lot of sense. I, and I might have to like co sign your theory. <laughs> like, yeah, he, like, Slugworth just showed the fuck up like out of nowhere and was like, hey, boy, you wanted to see a chocolate? And it was now that you mention it. Oh, man. Yeah, like it, he hadn't even been announced on the news yet. And it just bumps into him. And like, it's, I, I think that was the part where I'm like, all right, this is sus. And then just kept watching it. And I'm like, Everything about this is fun. Yeah. It goes, <laughs> as it goes on, it gets worse. <laughs> the theories are coming out. Wow. Yeah. Well, and he, and he, like, he doesn't seem to understand human, like, like when the kid's like suffering and whatnot, he's like, no, stop, don't. Like, totally no empathy. Like, he doesn't understand yeah. human empathy. Mm. 
And that's, got, that's when um, Augustus Gloop gets stuck in the tube. And he's like yeah. more concerned about his chocolate. <laughs> yeah, exactly. He, no, oh, my bro. chocolate, your salty sweat's going to mess up my chocolate. We have to dump out all of this river. <laughs> Screw this kid. You ruined my chocolate. <laughs> what else we got, Joe? All right. Well, I'm going uh, to go through the, the um, <clears throat> Beetlejuice, which I thought was incredible. Ooh. This is a full. Wow. Okay. That's dope. That's awesome. Yeah. So this was set. Obviously, it's in a cemetery. You've taken these photos. Yeah, um, that one. Uh, my friend Amanda, who I've been working with on and off for like a decade, um, she took those pictures uh, up in New Hampshire. Mm -hmm. I do not remember what cemetery it was, but mm -hmm. it was um, it was pretty chill. There weren't a lot of people there, so it worked out. And then, like yeah. everybody who did walk by, was just smiling. So yeah. <laughs> yeah. Did, you, did you do it around Halloween? I think it was September. Not close enough. They were probably were like, nah, whatever. You know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, you my, mm -hmm. um, and then my friend Jackie did the makeup for that one. Oh, oh okay. So you don't do your own makeup? Well, oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. She, she does like the um, I don't know anything about FX makeup yet. Yeah. And mm. she like uh we wanted to have more of like an FX look combined with the glam. So yeah, that's oh, awesome. Sick. Now are you a big Beetlejuice fan as well, or I love Beetlejuice. Uh, <laughs> yeah. so are, you, gotta ask, are you excited about the new movie? I'm so excited. Oh my yeah. god. <laughs> <laughs> She's gonna get dressed up for it, Joe. Yeah, I think so. I think so. <laughs> Especially like Michael Keaton's the only Beetlejuice to me, and the fact that he's coming back of like, okay, you did it right, awesome. Yeah, he's starting off on the right foot. And then um, I think did did the Wednesday Ortega is she going to be? She's going to be Lydia's Lydia Lydia. dog, yeah, right? Yeah. Yeah. So that's going to be wild. And it's perfect casting because that she does remind me of like a young Renona Ryder, or, you know, like that Christina Ritchie Renona Ryder like fit. Mm. So. It's gonna be a lot of fun. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Beetlejuice in a graveyard taking photos. Probably, you know, nobody's gonna freak out because it's near near <laughs> Halloween, so it's cool. Anything because I spent a lot. Unfortunately, I spent a lot of time in a graveyard, and that's gonna sound weird. But my I used to live really close to one. My friend lived right next door to a cemetery, and then uh, at a church that I work for now, there's a cemetery, and like there's a haunting, all the stories and stuff. Anything weird uh, while you were there? <laughs> Not at this one. It was also no. midday, though. Oh, okay. We <laughs> had like weird cemetery experiences, but not on that day, no. No? Wow. Maybe they didn't want to mess with the ghost with the most. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. You, don't, you didn't have any uh, weird experiences, Joey, did you? In oh, yeah. You were hanging out in the cemetery. Yeah, I did. Yeah, even in the daytime. Really? Oh, yeah, but that's another show. Okay, all right. Then we'll just digress. What else we got, Joe? All right, so we've got this really cool shoot here. So who's this? That was fun. So it wasn't um that one wasn't a cosplay. It was more uh, just the jacket that I had made for funsies. Oh, ah, okay. Because I will like DIY jackets and whatnot. Wow. Cool. So how long did it take to do that? I don't remember. It was oh, right. like, I think I made that one in 2017. Wow. That was a while ago. Okay. So you, yeah. make, you make your own, everything's all made yourself or? I, um, I just painted. Um, but what about so the Beetlejuice one? That um, I put together. I, I wish I could sew like that. <laughs> mm -hmm. oh, okay. no, it's still like. Still, yeah. I mean, if we're taking another look at it. Yeah. I mean, you know, it's definitely Beetlejuice. It's just a different right. type of. Well, uh, that's cool. Yeah, very, I like cool, that. very cool. And then um, we're gonna go into. <laughs> all right, so we know yeah. briefly. That you make, bit, yeah, yeah. So, do you make all your cosplay? Emma, I, or I don't really make them. I more like put them together. Okay. Um, I like to do like more of a glam take on a lot of characters where it's like just obvious enough that who I'm trying to be, but it's not yeah. quite the exact same thing. Okay. So when you mean by put it all together, do you like kind of just chop around and try and get different bits and pieces from wherever? Like, is there certain places that you go or is it just anywhere? It, anywhere. Um, 
The Willy Wonka one was mainly Amazon just because there was the pandemic. When I put that together, we weren't yeah. Yeah. going places. No. Yeah. But like the, um, the Beetlejuice one, uh, I have no idea where I got the top. So that was probably thrifted. Oh, wow. Hey, okay. That's the best way to get things, man. Yeah. yeah. And then um, the pants are like belly dance pants that I got from like, I don't know, 2016, 2015, something like that. Wow. Cool. And then like, the jacket was Amazon. But yeah. it... but that, that, you know, that cane that you had from from um willy Wonka. yeah that's cool that's so that, my my mom's friend got i guess dumpstering oh. and i, I oh, had to I wow. sprayed the, yeah wow. i sprayed the handle <laughs> is it just a, is there something on the handle or is it just like a normal just like ball it's, um, like it's a-, a little skull on top of a bunch of other little skulls <laughs> oh that's neat that's attention to detail yeah that's Fair awesome yeah. Good catch. Awesome. Can you see it in the other photo too? Yeah, yeah, you can see it. Oh, yeah, you can now. You can see yeah, the full can see it. Yeah. Oh, that's neat. It's almost like uh, Predator 2, the King Willy. He had that cane, the <laughs> sword. <laughs> kind of that. Like, if you pull on the skull, does the sword come out? Like, <laughs> No, but now I want to try. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's that. even unlocked. Yeah. Upgrade the costume. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that'll no, be awesome. What else we got, Jack? Um, and you are doing a movie, I want to say you said? Yes. Yeah, we're doing you, a I'm movie. Doing, yeah, we're going to show some pictures and then give us some insight on that. And I think these pictures are badass because I have a feeling something wicked is about to come down. Please share. What are, we, what are we looking at here? So this is for Sins of the Devil. And um, so the guy on the left is Garrett. Well, the characters, Garrett, Angel, and Sarah. Mm -hmm. Um, And they are part of, I think we're calling them the Sinister Six, but I can't. They keep swapping the names on me. Yeah. Yeah. But um, so I am, I guess, co-producing and I'll be acting. Um, And it uh, is the same group of guys, uh, Psycon Productions, who uh, they, I was in a movie, small part in, um, it released like last year or the year before called Flag a Zombie American Invasion. Oh. Okay. And it's based off of this Argentinian uh, trilogy of zombie movies. So it was like, it's the same group of people and it's um, Sins of the Devil is going to be about basically, so what I can say, because these being mm-hmm. like very um tight yeah, about yeah, it. Tight about it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, type yeah. Stuff. yeah um basically there's a group of friends it's uh this girl's birthday and then the um the sinister six are uh basically it's a home invasion chaos ensues and that's Ooh, okay. further that's, than that, but... that sounds fun that sounds like a lot of fun because that was it the strangers type of vibe that's what I get from that. I can't say. No, you can't. You can't. Don't say anything. Don't say anything. Yeah, Joe, come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just saying. I'm a big come horror on. movie guy. I have like a horror movie channel. And um, anytime somebody says, I'm in a horror movie, give me the horror movie I want to see. So please do tell us when it comes out. And uh, we'd love to chat with you about that. Yeah, for sure. I think he's aiming for um, not Halloween this year, but Halloween next year. Okay. okay. We're going to be filming august september like right now we've got the gofundme going and all that and then uh um, yeah. i mean he's got to edit and all of that so probably that is the hardest part yes <laughs> sitting there going oh boy where did i why did i decide to do that <laughs> <laughs> so uh, is that I, something that you normally do amber or are you getting into acting or so it's been kind of like an on and off thing but mm-hmm. it's something i definitely am trying to like throw myself back into nice yeah. I I love it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You can see that you do. Right, that that's cool. Like, not many people can say they've been in a movie. You know, right. right. That's very it, true. yeah. That's that's awesome. We, well, you know, like Joe said, he's the he's the horror expert. So I, when that comes out, we'll definitely uh, watch it, and we'll have to check out that other one, Joe, that Amber was saying as well that you were in. So yeah. I want to see if we can get our hands on something like that. Yeah, where will, where will we grab that? I think it's streaming um, on. 
I should have asked them this beforehand. No, that's right. That's right. We'll, we'll, we'll find it. It's definitely streaming somewhere. You can also get it on Amazon, but I know it's it's on one of the yeah. ones that has like an obscene amount of ads. Oh, Tubi. Yes. Oh, yeah. Tubi. <laughs> Tubi. <laughs> Joby, Joby for the win, Tubi. Yeah, I love Tubi because there's so many horror movies on it. <laughs> Do you have Tubi, Joe? Yeah. All right, well, then. I we'll have Tubi, to... so I'll be watching that tonight. We'll have to, I go, yeah. I go, I know her. I know her. I've seen her. Yeah. I spoke to her. <laughs> Very cool. Yeah. I'm watching some zombies, too. Oh, nice. Oh, <laughs> wow, so how, how, how long have you been doing cosplay for, Amber? Like, And then how did you get into it? Is it something that you wanted to do? Or? Decade. And honestly, it was like I started modeling and then people were like, um, I think I went to an anime. I went to Anime Boston as my first anime convention mm. or well, convention at all. And I'm like, people do this as photo shoots? <laughs> Sign me up. And like, yeah. that's how that started. <laughs> so what was your first, what was your first cosplay? Um, France from Hitalia. Yeah, yeah. Awesome, yeah. awesome. There's no photo there we go. No, no, there's no He's photos. such a fun, obnoxious character. <laughs> yeah. Which is usually what I go for is obnoxious because then I can be boisterous. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. that's true. You can any any on. competitions and any cons or anything like that or not at that level yet or? Not at that level yet. Um, yeah. Just because, like, I don't, since I don't, like, sew them or anything, um, event. I think eventually I would like to like get into sewing them and stuff, but yeah. I've got so much on my plate. I... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, we we know all about that. Yeah. That's awesome. Is is there a, a a character that you like enjoy dressing up as, or or you want to dress up as? Um, my one of my more recent ones. Um, I did the two. Uh, I did um, Chop Top Sawyer and. The hitchhiker from the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Oh um, wow! And uh, my partner actually 3D printed me because uh, he's got that bone uh, bracelet. So we 3D yep. printed that, and then I made a necklace to match. Oh neat! Um, so that was one thing that I have actually made myself. I probably should have sent pictures of that. No, no, that's all right. Well, we'll. But, um, you know, yeah. I want to do Leatherface now that I've done the twins. Oh wow! <laughs> wow. And how how would you do his face? With the I haven't the, figured that out yet. That's well, she lives right next to that graveyard, so you're on halfway there. You just dig up somebody. <laughs> and... <laughs> hey, horror movie fans, you know we we do shit like that, but we, yeah, I'm yeah, not gonna rat you out. Don't worry. <laughs> oh, <shit. laughs> I'll come and dig with you. Wow! Yeah. Wow! wow. <laughs> Yeah, I would just say it would be hard to do. Yeah, perfect. But yeah, okay. All right. doing, um, because I still want to do that glam. I was thinking about doing like uh Maron face paint and then um, like uh spirit gum with some string. Yeah. But that it could look so much better in my head than it does in real life. It's one of yeah. those we'll find out when we get there. Yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. It's just yeah, yeah, that's gonna I be know. Cool, though. Yeah, yeah. Really I mean, yeah. I've seen some really good cosplayers, and and especially like people when they put attention to detail. But your cosplayers, like you said, you, you put that little spin on it. It's it's not. You can still notice that it's like yeah, like it's Beetlejuice, but it's got your your uh, touch to it, which is really really cool. I do I do like that a lot. Um, so where so you're saying that you you so you, you get them from shops or from thrift shops and put it all together is there a process behind it or is it just kind of like you know what you can see in your head and what you want to do and then it kind of just comes together for you or do you plan it out or it it's, just happens it's a mix it kind of just happens and like yeah. you know it's just like i'll start like looking for stuff and then it's like okay that'll work what can i make go with that yeah. okay goes with that yeah and yeah. eventually it works out <laughs> it works out <laughs> yeah. and your other half does he take the photos for you or do you professionally get them done or that's um so he did the willy wonka photos uh that's a relatively new thing for us we're gonna um 
we we're gonna be like doing like a travel blog slash me like modeling and him doing photos slash whatever yeah. it morphs itself into that was the strange wow. no thing that i sent you guys um yeah, yeah. but I, I i need to make a website and it, it's very overwhelming <laughs> yeah yeah I, i'm i do a ton of them and uh every like company that you work with now is has their own little twitch like technique that makes it different and it drives you crazy because you're like yeah uh, yes, yeah, so let's do it with the side. I've always done it. No, nah, no, nah, we want to try this. I'm like, oh, no. And then it's like learning the whole thing all over again. So I know how you feel. If you ever need any pointers, you know, hit us up. Awesome. So, Thank you. Tra so travel that you do, you want to do, obviously, where you live, around where you are, America, or? Um, so I, uh, I've been traveling on and off for like 10 years. Oh, um, oh yeah. I used to work for different Renaissance fairs and my boss was like, go work this other show. I'm like, okay. And that's what started it. And then I'm a writer by trade. So I could take work anywhere. So I'm like, I'm just going to go one summer. And I like basically lived in my back seat and just would stop at coffee shops. And I traveled all over the U S and into Canada. Oh wow! wow. This is how I want to live my life. <laughs> but um right now we're renovating an rv so that we can do um uh, mostly stuff throughout the u.s but if i uh if i don't get out to the desert soon i'm, I'm gonna be upset so <laughs> <laughs> but I, um i have done a little bit of international travel i went to uh oh. the uk for black sabbath's final show oh, and then I wow. oh, oh, oh lucky oh, oh, okay. oh ozzy oh Oh, 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 oh wow, I, that's cool. I got to see him, but not Black Sabbath. That's incredible. That is that is cool. Were you, were you dressed up like Ozzy? No, but I did have uh converses that had like Ozzy stuff on them. So. Oh, that's dope. Okay. <laughs> yeah. That's incredible. That is, that is awesome. Wow. Okay. And I love that song War Pigs. To hear that live must have been like insane. They they do pyrotechnics in the UK that they don't do here. Ooh, I, went to, I went to the show in Massachusetts and then I went again down in Texas. And then when we went, like I went to the final show with a friend of mine and they did a huge pyrotechnic show. And I'm like, we didn't get this. Oh, this is man. great. <laughs> oh, it's now I'm extra jealous. Maybe it's not as safe <laughs> down there in the UK, or they just don't care. <laughs> no, they probably have a better ventilation system because our buildings are always like, we need to finish this now, now, now. And the UK, <laughs> I was like, no, mate, we got to take the time and build it proper, you know. So it could be a whole thing. <laughs> wow, yeah, that's cool. That's cool. That's super cool. Yeah, I do really like that. Um, do you do you collect anything else? Do you, have you do you, are you into anything else besides cosplay? I mean, I collect like little. Um, you know what I do. <laughs> I collect cool. buttons um, okay, and yeah. I put them in the roof of my car. Oh, um, nice. Yeah. yeah. Like pins and pins. And there's no rhyme or reason to them other than I like this one. <laughs> wow. See, I love that. Yeah, <laughs> That's, cool. Cool. That's cool. That's cool. You probably, it sounds like you've got quite a few if you're putting them on your roof of your car. Yeah. It, it's at least 100 at this point. Oh, but wow. Yeah. More, like, this has been like, it's probably maybe one to two hundred, somewhere between one and two hundred. <laughs> oh wow! Jeez. Okay, that's incredible. Killer. I like that. Mm -hmm. Nice. Oh, okay. All right. All right. What are right. we All in right. the last one, Joe? I think we pretty yeah, much yeah. here we the go. Last one, didn't we, Joe? I guess we've kind of really covered this a lot, why you, you, you got into it, Amber, uh, like you've been doing this for, for decades. And then you just touched that you were doing some Renaissance work as well. Like, how, how do you get into that? I mean, that's, I mean, that kind of all leads into what you do anyway, really, doesn't it? Like role play and acting and cosplay. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I've, I've never actually been to one of those shows. So I, I don't know. We don't have them here in Australia. So, oh. Uh. They are so fun. They are. Are they? Yeah. They're yeah. Okay. I, I mean, we have like those fairs that they have, but I just, yeah, I don't know. I've never been one. I want to check it out. But anyway, um, 
Yeah. So, so you've been doing it for decades, you were saying, and, and you're enjoying it. Um, what do you see for yourself in the future? Is there something that, where you want to lead to with this or, or just diverse back into acting and, and stay with acting or? I, or I definitely you? want acting to be a part of my future. Um, yeah. I really like acting in horror. And as much as like, yeah. you know, it's not that I want to typecast myself. It's just that it's like, that's where it's fun. <laughs> yeah. 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 What's your what's your favorite horror movie? I know Joe's probably gonna ask that question. Oh yeah, thanks, buddy. <laughs> it's hard to um I'm a bit of a phantasm fan girl. Boy <laughs> <laughs> I love phantasm. Is there something about those creepy they I wanna say Jawas, but they're not Jawas. They're like little people that kind of like abduct people the the bodies the, the lurkers that's what, is the that lurkers. what they're called yeah the lurkers yeah oh they're so have you ever seen phantasm rick no i can't i'm not a big horror fan so oh, I, oh, okay. oh, no. all right i'm gonna change that rick i'm gonna change that that's gonna... <laughs> we're, gonna, we're gonna talk about it yeah phantasm <laughs> angus Grimm just passed away uh recently the last couple of years yeah it was like was it 2014 yeah 2015 it... i want to say like right before the pandemic or something like that yeah but i oh, he was that cool. i hadn't discovered phantasm until like after he had passed i know that much oh wow but it was one of those like i my my partner had showed me the movie and i'm like there's five of these oh i'm watching all of them and then i'm like this is the best <laughs> absolutely <laughs> Because it's yeah. so ambiguous. It's like you have no idea what's going on, and I love that. Is, yeah. is there a horror movie that you you can't watch that, that's kind of scarred you, or do you just not that type of person? You watch any horror movie? Um, Tim Curry as Pennywise is probably the only thing that consistently, if I'm too tired, I'm like freaked oh, out man. about clowns around the corner kind of thing. So. Okay. Ah. Oh. Okay, That's I cool. felt like his was creepier than Al the Scars Guard. Really? Yeah, because it was more like I don't know. Because okay. the way that the makeup was done, it kind of reminded me of like an, a wicked Krusty the Clown. So, <laughs> like, <laughs> you know what I mean? So it was like creepier because it's like, oh, I know Krusty the Clown, you know. And then this one's evil trying to eat people, and I don't know. There was something very creepy. I thought the newer one was. A lot better, a bit more. The newer one was, was creepy too, but uh, yeah, something about and Tim Curry's voice is something that stands out because he's got this like baritone. Do you, do you have a movie like that, Joe, that you can't watch? Horror movie that you can't watch? Um, it used to be Hellraiser when I was younger, really. Yeah, the Hellraiser first? freaked me out. Like, I saw it by mistake. Uh, my, my <laughs> uncle had a collection of horror movies that had a note, Joe, don't watch, and of course, I'm the same kid that was. His mom was cleaning. Yeah. I was cleaning the archdiocese of Rhode Island. My mom was a, a keeper, housekeeper. She was cleaning the archdiocese of Rhode Island, and there was like a button because they would collect the money in the priest's office, and they push the button if something went wrong, and it's a red button. And they were like, "All right, stay in here, but don't touch anything." And I was like, "No problem." And I saw the oh red button, and then they tackled my dad, and you know, uh, yeah. So. <laughs> So since it was said, don't do this, I was like, let's do this. And I like put the DVD in and then uh, the first cut, like the first 20 minutes aren't so bad. And, like the guy gets like ripped up with all yeah, the yeah. jeans and everything. It's like, oh, okay. And then like they open the door and you have all those three people in the black mm. with the pins and everything. I'm like, oh no, <laughs> what am I watching? Because I used to go to church a lot at that time. So I was like, this is the devil, you know? And then I got older and was like, ah, you know what? This you, is you watch it now though. Oh yeah, I watch. Yeah. I watch every single even the, the made for DVD ones that came out in the 2000s. I have like really got obsessed with it. So wow. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I, even have yeah. A I have a puzzle box somewhere. Do you? Yeah. Yeah. I got, you like I got a little with that. Would you ever do a, a Hellraiser? Because they, they're redoing that franchise. Amber. Pinhead. What do you like as a cosplay as yeah like cosplay or like yes that's, you... that's on my list of things i just have to figure out how to make that happen oh, we were actually like before my 3d like before the 3d printer decided that it wanted to die mm. um it's fixable but it's i have no idea what's wrong with it the things like the human brain to me um we started printing a puzzle box oh, oh wow 
So it was one of those like, oh, I'll figure out how to do, uh, I don't, I want to call him Pinhead, but I feel like that's wrong. <laughs> no, it's Pinhead. Yeah. <laughs> it's okay. Yeah. The, uh, in the book, it's the, um, the Hellbound Heart. It's a Clive Barker book, but I really got into it. <laughs> and he's just called the Dark Priest. Okay. In book, but in the, um, in the movie, it's Pinhead. That's what okay. It's monikered after. And initially, a fun fact, the character Julia was supposed to be the pinhead of the of the story because she was the one actually killing everybody. So huh. she was supposed to come back and be like the serial mm. killer, like the Freddy and everything, not pinhead. But people were like, that pinhead shit is awesome. Let's bring that back. And that's what happened. So that's that one. Oh. Yeah, that's how that's how that went down. Yeah. That's yeah. yeah. I think I've seen Pinhead. When was the last time I watched it? Oh, it's been a while. But uh, yeah, it, The Exorcist is my movie, which I I cannot watch till this day because it scarred me when I was a kid. I just think that's the most scariest movie ever. So yeah, it's, anyway, it's it is just yeah. Even t- today, I just can't do it. But anyway, that's another story, Joe. Yeah, I think we're gonna wrap it up, Joe. Is yeah. there anything you want to share with him or ask Amber before we wrap this up, mate? Well, now that I know you'd, you'd be willing to do Pinhead, I'm hoping that you do do it and then tag me so that I can see it and then we could talk about it again because that's one of my favorites. It used to scare the shit out of me and now it's become beloved. It's a weird <laughs> pain pleasure thing for me. I don't I know. Don't know. Scare you, Joy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh my God. Ever, oh, 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 yeah. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> I, I guess like. You said you were a zombie. Did you end up doing a lot of prosthetics with that? Like, have to put all the. It was a little bit of um, FX makeup in a parking lot. Oh, okay. Um, they, uh, it was, it was super minimal. It was, um, I there was, think it was a lot of editing in like post, mm. and it it looks awesome, awesome. But there was like a little bit of um, prosthetic, but not not a whole lot. Oh, okay. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Well, we're looking. I can't wait to go hop on Tubi and check that out tonight because that's exciting. <laughs> Give me the link, Joe. I'm going to have a watch. Give yeah. Me the link when you do it. Yeah, um, I'll get it. I'll send you the link. Yeah, totally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool, yeah, cool, cool. And, and we're get some royalties, you, hopefully. Yeah. <laughs> can you let everyone know where they can catch you, where they can find you on all your socials? And we'll make sure we'll link them down below as well for you. Um, the easiest way to find everything is my link tree, which is uh, link tree slash Amber Moses. And that has my TikTok, my Instagram and all of my other shenanigans. And eventually when I get this blog going, it will have that as well. Nice. Awesome. awesome. And, and what's, what's your cat's name? <laughs> you see your cat behind you. Yeah. It's like black cat. I was like, <laughs> <That's his name. laughs> what's his name? Uh, Annabelle Lee. Annabelle oh. Lee. Oh, oh. nice. Like there Annabelle the, the doll? <laughs> no, it's the Edgar Allan Poe poem. Oh, wow. That's very cool. Oh, <laughs> just sitting there. That's cool. Yeah. Like it's a black cat. It's just, <laughs> yeah, it's like so perfect. Her sister hates it when I'm like, she like leaves if I like ever come on to anything on the phone and then she's like, attention. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. There it is. There it is. Look at me. Look at the yeah. eyes on her. Oh, wow. Yeah, right. It's like perfect. Like, <laughs> wow, well, okay, she's the real star here. Yeah. Oh, she's camera shy now. No, oh. yeah, right. oh. well, awesome. Well, thank you so much for joining thank us, so Amber. Much. We really, really appreciate it. And thank you for sharing your stories about how you create your cosplay and all that. And we're, we're actually looking forward to seeing you in your new horror movie. So we'll definitely promote that and check that out as well for you. But like I said, uh, everything, all the links in that will be down below. So check that out. Um, Joe, thank you very much. As always, it's been a pleasure. Absolutely. And we'll see everyone on the next uh, Off the Shelf. Mm-hmm. Bye for now. Bye. See ya. Check out SpectrumSanctorum.net for all of our podcast merch. We have an entire merch store ready to give you all the things that you loved about our podcast. And get notified on all of our socials, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, and our Spectrum Sanctorum merch store. Follow us today and be sure to hit that bell when you're watching our YouTube videos so you can be notified of when a new episode releases.